Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today I want to talk a little bit about a YouTube announcement which came out. Um, it's been covered by some of the YouTube tutors as I call them, but I wanted to put my two pennies worth in because uh, obviously I talk about technology and I talk about YouTube at times as well. So um, if you want to uh, hear more about this kind of thing, I'm going to be giving you updates on this because it is at the moment as a leak, so nothing official has been talked about. So if you want to hear about the official um, release when it comes out, then don't forget to subscribe and I'll keep you up to date. But it appears as though YouTube have, have, have leaked, or well, this audio has been leaked from YouTube that suggests they are going to be lowering the requirement to join the YouTube Partner Programme. Currently it's 1,000 subscribers and uh, 4,000 hours of watch time currently. But there is talk that they could be lowering it. Now there's no, there's no uh, news as yet about what that lowering might be. But it's great for new content creators. It's great for content creators like me. I mean, I don't, you know, I'm, I've only got 300 subscribers. I'm not a huge channel. Um, you can help me, by the way, if you want to subscribe to get more information and more news about technology and stuff like that. Um, that would be fantastic. But, uh, you know, th th there's this, this for a small channel. This is going to be huge. Hopefully it's something that we can all get to in some way. It's certainly a bit quicker than what we can do at the moment. And I think one of the reasons why they're doing this is because of competition. You've got TikTok, you've got Instagram, you've got Facebook, all of these companies now there are people making huge money on these platforms because the requirements are lower and they can make money sooner and so i think youtube are now trying to hop on this and think well if we want good creators to come to our platform we need to give them an incentive because i'm sure i'm sure there are lots of really really good creators out there who give up because they they think they can't get to a thousand subscribers they can't get to four thousand watch hours and they just give up. And I'm sure that they are losing, the YouTube as a platform are losing so many good creators because of that. And, you know, these are creators that over time could become huge, could become the next Mr. Beast. And so hopefully by doing this, they're going to be encouraging uh, smaller YouTube creators to keep going, to keep working, maybe encourage old YouTubers to come back again, who maybe have tried and, and thought that they've given up. Um, so I think this is a very positive thing and hopefully the, the, the new um, requirements are going to be attainable in a fairly short space of time. And obviously they want to weed out all of those people who are just going to create rubbish and put it out on the air and nobody's going to watch it. But I hope that they do entice people to come back or entice people who are maybe on the fence about doing it. Because when you look at it, when you start your channel, you think oh, 1,000 subscribers, 4,000 hours of watch time, that's a huge amount to reach. And it's going to put people off. So hopefully... By doing this, they're going to be um, incentivizing some people to, to say, OK, well, I'm going to have a go at this. I'm going to see if I can get the new requirements and see if I can get monetized, because that would be fantastic. Wouldn't it? That'd be, that would mean that so many more small channels can start to earn money and support themselves because of it. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you're a small creator, do let me know what you think. I'd love to hear it in the comments. Is this something that uh, could tempt you to keep going. If you're a YouTuber that, that was around and left, would this entice, entice you to come back again? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Let me know. 